The under 23 men's road race over 175.75 kilometers. A bit of a shock there for the Austrian as the gun went off. He wasn't really ready talking to his teammates. Facing up to 11 laps of the same circuit that the junior women went across and the big field rolling away with the great promise, Paul, of a really superb men's championship. Absolutely, but as always in an under 23 championships, the first laps are very nervous indeed. Everybody's taking risks because of the size of the field to try and stay at the front. And the reason they do this is because very very often in the under 23 championships is there are an awful lot of crashes in the opening races but I have to tell you one thing Michael Rogers rode very well in the first part of the race looking for the early breakaways and causing a lot of splits, splits at the head of affairs Michael Rogers uh, fresh from his silver medal in the time trial and the Commonwealth Games uh, champion as well where he's got a gold medal he's also been the pursuit champion of Australia uh, riding at the front here and looking around for a little bit of help from the rest as the race regrouped Lots of attacking in the under-23 championships, and this certainly is an incredible performance. The Italians obviously on fine form. Michele Gobi from uh, Italy wearing number two, trying to get clear all of the time. The Italians putting the pressure on at the front, trying to get the breakaway on this very testing course. But the start of the winning move did come very early on. Number one, Leonardo Giordani of Italy, tagged on the back there. And uh, Tor Hushoid of Norway, uh, Senyuchikin of Belarus, out on the early move that in fact decided the race. It certainly did. Here you can see Tor Hushoid on the slopes of the climb, Torricelli. How difficult it is. He wasn't able to stick the pace and got left behind. And we ended up then with a leading group of two riders, Leonardo Giardini and the Belarus rider Senyuchikin. Well, the thing was, Paul, the main field, although whittled down to something like 45 riders, they never allowed uh, Giordani or Hushoid very much of a lead, or indeed the Belarus rider Senichkin, and they always kept them in sight. Often the lead was back to as little as 18 seconds, but the Italian teammates of Giordani were doing a great job slowing down the reaction, and in the end, on the last climb, the Belarus rider had had enough. He just couldn't follow the pace of Leonardo Giordini. He knew the work was being done by his teammates behind, and he knew he had to try and go for the lone victory. And here you can see the force of the Azzurro riders, the Italians on the front of the main pack, slowing it down to give the advantage to their lone leader, this man at the front, Leonardo Giordani, wearing number one for Italy and out on a lone lead. Virtually all of the work behind being done by the Victorian Cadell Evans in that chase group and also the British rider Jamie Burrow, who living in Italy knew all about Leonardo Giordani and he was a rider he really didn't want to win the race but at the end of the day this man had been at the head of affairs throughout the race. He didn't know it but he was relying heavily on the slowing down tactics of his teammates still back in the main field. In the under 23 championship over the years and there haven't been many under 23 championships the Italians have had tremendous tremendous success and they've also taken in the past one two and three well they're almost going to do it again this time absolutely coming into the final few meters this man knows he's got the world championships an Italian winning on home ground what a remarkable performance it was all down to his teammates and behind the sprint was hotting up the first gold medal in the world championships for Italy on home territory so the crowd went a little bit wild as then came a hectic sprint for second place as they crossed the line it was the other Italian Paulini who got second place and then it was Matthias Kessler of Germany taking third and the crowd in Italy absolutely crazy about their first gold medal and what a great performance by that man he will certainly be on the front page of Gazzetta della Sporto tomorrow and they will be rejoicing throughout Italy and hoping that the men's professionals can do just as good a job well, you see, it takes your chance early on with a fine attacking ride, and this is the result, a rainbow jersey, as you become the under-23 men's road race world champion. And I think he was pretty pleased about that. Of the Australians, by the way, in that league group, Cadell Evans finished 24th, Matthew Heyman was 50th, Cameron MacDonald, the Queenslander, was 81st, and Sean Sullivan from Tasmania, he came home in 82nd place. Uh, but the man they were talking about in the bars that night, Leonardo Giordani of Italy.
And so all smiles from the Italian.